Welcome to ACT. In this video, we will explore groups and how to create groups by adding contacts together based upon something that they all have in common. Let's say that we frequently view all of our contacts who are labeled as a lead in our database. We can certainly perform a lookup each time we need to find and connect with these contacts, or we could create a group of contacts called leads. So here's how to create this group. I'll begin by going to the groups area in ACT. And since I don't have a leads group yet, I'm going to click the new button in the top right corner. This will create a new group, which I can now name leads. When I click the save button, we'll see that this new group appears in my tree view on the left. But now I need to populate this group with some contacts. So I'll click the contacts tab, and then I'm going to click the add remove contacts button. This opens up a window called add remove contacts. And I can choose here to either add contacts statically, or I can choose to add them dynamically. If I wanted to add contacts statically, I would need to search for each individual contact and then add them to this group. I could do this by clicking the contacts button and then locate the contacts I wanted to add to the group. When adding contacts in this manner, they will remain a member of this group until they are manually removed. This method can cause a lot of maintenance work so I'm not going to do this. Instead, I'll choose to add my contacts dynamically. Dynamic groups are automatically updated whenever a predefined set of criteria applies to your contacts. So in this example, we want to add any contact to this group when it becomes a lead. By using this method, we won't ever need to manually add contacts to this group again because ACT will do it for us. So in the dynamic members area, I'll click the edit criteria button and this screen might be familiar to you because it's the same process as creating an advanced query in ACT. So let's create our first rule. The type is going to be a contact. For field name, I'm going to choose the ID status field because this is where I denote that a contact is a lead. For the operator, you might think I'm going to use equal to, but no, I need to use contains. And the reason we use contains here is because a contact can have more than one ID status. If I had used equal to, then I would not be including any leads who have more than one ID status. And not only that, but by using contains, this will also include contacts with an ID status of warm lead or even hot lead. So for value, I'm just going to type in lead and then I'll click the add to list button on the right. That's the only rule that I need to create, so I'm going to click OK at the bottom of the screen. And now I'll click OK once again to close the Add Remove Contacts window. At this point, ACT will use my rule and then dynamically populate my group with contacts who have the word lead in their ID status field. So my group has been created and it contains the appropriate contacts. This can be a useful way to keep track of your new leads. You could even use this list as a working call list. But what happens when one of these leads becomes a customer? Well, let's find out. I'm going to click one of these contacts, Archibald Winchester, and then I'm going to locate their ID status field, and I'm going to change it so that they are no longer a lead by unchecking the lead box, and instead, I will check the customer box. Now I'll click Save. So now Archibald Winchester is no longer a lead, he is a customer. When I go back to my leads group, I can see that Archibald Winchester is no longer a member of this group. This shows the value of creating a dynamic group in ACT because the group's membership is based off of a specific field in their contact record so that you don't have to manage group membership manually. I already have a group called customers. So now when that contact switched from being a lead to a customer, you can see that Archibald is now automatically a member of the customers group. Dynamic groups can be set up to reflect almost any contact field in ACT. For example, you could create a dynamic group for prospects that you haven't contacted in the past 30 days. This group would automatically add new members on a daily basis, helping you keep track of those prospective customers before it's too late. Let's take a quick moment to look at some of the tabs for groups. The Activities tab shows all the activities for every contact who is a member of this group. This can be a convenient way of viewing several contacts activities in one place rather than having to look up each contact record. The Opportunities tab shows all of the opportunities for each contact who is a member of this group. 
This will help you get an overall view of where you are in the sales cycle for all of the members of this group. The Documents tab, however, does not roll up all of the documents for each individual contact into the group. Instead, it allows you to have separate documents that apply to the group as a whole and not for individual contacts. You can use the Group Address tab if this group is a club or a charitable organization that has its own mailing address. The Group Access tab is similar to the Contact Access tab. Here you can change the record manager for this group, and then you can also see history and change the access level of this group to other users of your ACT system. Finally, use the Subgroups tab if you want to create a subordinate group within this one. So for my leads group, maybe I want to split them up by geographic regions. That way I could then assign different regional sales representatives to be responsible for each of their leads subgroups. To do this, while I'm looking at my leads group, I'll go to the groups menu at the top and then choose new subgroup. Now I'll give this group a name like Southwest Leads and then I'll click the save button. This new subgroup will now appear on the tree view as a subgroup of the leads group. Now all I have to do is create more subgroups and then assign them to my sales staff as needed.